Salmon are really a, a keystone species in our northwest ecosystems. There are a ton of other species that feed on salmon. Probably the, the most well-known are the southern resident killer whales, which depend on Chinook salmon in particular as a prey item. North of Falcon is an annual process we go through to develop salmon fisheries throughout the state of Washington. We work with our tribal co-managers of the state of Oregon, as well as all of our constituents to develop a set of fisheries that will work with all of our conservation objectives and pre-season forecasts for the upcoming year. The term North of Falcon comes from a point in Oregon called Cape Falcon, where Washington stocks tend to conduct ocean migrations north of that point. The role of the public at North of Falcon is an informative role. We are there representing you, the public. We need to know what works best for you. So we manage salmon fisheries through a number of jurisdictions. Because they travel across state and international boundaries as they move out into the ocean, we work with the Pacific Salmon Commission, which manages fisheries up and down the Pacific coast. It's the forum where we work with the Canadian and Alaskan governments to talk about fisheries in, in all of our jurisdictions. Because we have a number of salmon populations that are listed under the Endangered Species Act, we have really strict requirements in place about how big of an impact any one of our fisheries can have on these listed stocks. So uh, at any one time in any pre-season process when we're setting salmon seasons, we're really managing for the weakest stock. Let's use a hypothetical. Say 100 fish in an ESA listed run return to their home river. The Endangered Species Act says that 90 of those fish, or 90%, need to pass up river to spawn. That leaves 10 fish for harvest, which are then split between the state and the tribes. On the state side, they're then also often split between recreational anglers and commercial operators. That leaves us with a very small number of those fish that can be harvested in river, even ignoring any potential catch that might occur in the ocean or Puget Sound. This is a highly simplified example, but those are the kinds of challenges we face when setting salmon seasons in Washington. So most of the fisheries in Puget Sound are what we call mixed stock fisheries. And this is because the majority of the, the fish that are migrating to the rivers are migrating at the same time. So they come in from the ocean and they'll kind of congregate in the Puget Sound from all different river systems before they then go off into their natal rivers to spawn. Threatened and endangered stocks, similar to the still Guamish Chinook, can have lasting ramifications all throughout Puget Sound fisheries. Essentially, when our Chinook stocks are struggling, we need to be mindful that those fish can still migrate outside of the Stillaguamish River, through the Puget Sound, up through Canada and Alaska, and then all the way back again. And sometimes that can mean reduced harvest opportunities, for southern U.S. fisheries, and especially those in the Puget Sound. As we implement fisheries in those waters, we have to account for the impact on all of those stocks, whether they be Puget Sound stocks, Columbia River stocks, Oregon stocks, Canadian stocks. A single stock fishery or a terminal area fishery are fisheries that occur close to the mouth of a river or in the river where you know that that's the returning adult population of a particular species, a particular run. And it's a lot easier to separate those out and know exactly what you're catching. Although there may be multiple stocks within a single river, most times the run timing is different. And so we can craft fisheries to make sure that we're just centering on the harvestable stock in any one system. Once the season is set, then you have to monitor the fisheries both to collect biological information, uh, make sure that the catch rates are what you expected during your preseason planning, and then to ensure that you have made the escapement that you expected. We don't have the fish we used to. We don't have the fish we should have. That's a result of habitat. We need to improve the habitat that we have. We need to restore what we've lost, and we need to protect what we still have. It's gonna take all of us. These are everybody's fish. We need to work with our partners, federal, state, local, tribe. We need everybody involved. Mm -hmm.